Are you giving up on distance? If so, make sure you check out this video. I'm gonna be talking through how you can increase your speed, mainly looking at the driver. I'm gonna share with you a couple of tips that's helped Francesco Molinari gain some distance. Make sure you check out the video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is all going to be about speed. We're talking about increasing club head speed, and this could be relevant with any golf club, but I'm going to be focusing on the driver, as this is the main club when we're talking about power that's really influential. So I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of tips that Francesco Molinari has used with his coach, Dennis Pugh, and his team to help him gain some distance. So they reckon after the, over the last couple of years, he's managed to gain 15 yards with his driver, which at that level is fantastic and amazing and something he felt like he really needed to do. Now, I also feel like over the last sort of four or five years, his putting um, has improved massively, but he puts one of his keys to success over the last couple of years, his increase with the driver. He's competing against these young, younger, longer hitters and really needing that distance gain. So what he's worked on is a couple of points in the backswing he tries to extend his chest a little bit further to make a bigger backswing. And you'll actually see him lift his lead heel. So for him being a right-handed golfer as well as me, that is our left heel. So he's lifting that heel to extend his backswing. He's trying to feel like his chest actually extends and his sternum is actually pointing higher up in the air. So uh, I know Dennis Pugh talks a lot about trying to get your heart to rise in the backswing there. And yes, that can cause some height gain in the backswing, but you'll see a very different move on the downswing. So he's trying to extend his chest, lift his lead heel to really extend that backswing, make a bigger coil away from the golf ball. On the downswing, we've got to then come back down. So the second part is trying to use the ground. So you'll see in his practice swings and when he's on the driving range warming up, he does this extension of his chest and then he really feels like he's pushing down into the ground, creating as much ground force reaction as he can. So he's trying to feel like there's a, a real push downwards, often reverted to as a, a squatting movement where we look like we're sitting or squatting. I've called it recentering the hips, so just trying to get the hips back to between your feet and back to about zero degrees and so not open or closed. And the last move he makes, it's a three part. The first part is extend the backswing, make a bigger backswing, even if that lifts the heel. The second part is push down into the ground. So really create some downforce reaction. The third part should actually start to happen naturally. If you push down, you can now spring up. So what he tries to feel like he's doing is actually jumping off the floor, which if we push down with enough force is going to help us do it. So he's really trying to feel like he jumps. Now, he's not actually leaving the floor, but if you do look at some of the long drive guys and girls, they are airborne by the time they're hitting the golf ball. Now, I'm not talking about that for a consistency point of view, but the jumping feeling is really my lead side extending. So it's my left side, my left uh, lead leg extending into the ball. So big coil back, push down into the ground and extend that lead side. And it's more of a feeling and a training exercise. So Francesco uses this in his practice swing and he spends about 20 minutes in his warm up working on power and speed, trying to feel these three moves. So I'm just gonna give it a go. Um, as I said, this is something I would do on the driving range, the practice area, I wouldn't take it straight to the golf course, but it might be something you wanna incorporate into your practice swing if you feel like you're giving up on distance. I think everybody can gain, can't they, really? So any you know extra speed we can get out there makes a big, big difference. So big extension on the way back, even if I lift that heel, really feel like my chest is moving up, pushing down to the ground, and it's the feeling of jumping in reality. I just want my lead side extending in the back, in the through impact movement here. Let me give it a go. I'm going to go for this exaggerated move. So I don't know where this ball's going to go, but we will give it a go. Right. Oh, 
Oh, blimey. That felt awesome. And straight down the middle. So maybe something I should try a little bit more regularly. I really felt like I extended my chest. I let my lead heel lift. I tried to push down to the ground and it felt very easy for me almost there to try and spring up. We're trying to talk about, you know, even if you could take one of these things, even if it was just that bigger backswing and allowing that left heel to rise. And if you're someone who struggles with a bit of mobility, flexibility, lifting that lead heel is really going to help you. You may be able to take one, two or three of these things to the golf course. Let me do one more again, just because that felt so good. Might be my new golf swing, the Francesco Molinari. Let's give it a go. Well, two for two, straight down the middle. I think that might be my new golf swing. So allowing that left heel to rise, making that bigger turn in the back swing is a real key point. Starting to learn how to use the ground is another one. So that feeling of pushing down before our lead side starts to extend. It's a massive power source if we use it correctly. I hope that video's helped. I hope that gives you some increase of speed. It's great if you can measure it. Do try it on the driving range before taking it to the course. It may be something you want to integrate into a practice swing. If you did enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for all the other content. Cheers, guys.